This is Kent, KJS Painting and Renovations, and here's a video that has to be done because it's too important uh, for this information not to get out there. Uh, so we have a, a painted deck. It's a redwood deck. It was painted years and years ago with an Alkid oil base uh, finish. And this is California, so you can't get those anymore. And so uh, a lot of the wood is bare and showing, and a lot of it is still in really good shape. So what what do you do? So uh, to get this out of the way uh, quickly is uh, I have to thank people like Dave at uh, Kelly Moore in uh, San Mateo. He's been working there 30 years with these products. And I showed him the pictures, and he knew that it was an Alkid paint. He knew what it was. He says, yeah, it came in a yellow can. I remember that can because I've, I've been taking care of this property a long time. So uh, shout out to, to Dave at Kelly Moore and to the folks that make these products. This is a Cabot. Uh, I think it's going to perform incredibly well. Uh, also, uh, got to thank the property owners for taking care of the property and for choosing to use the best products available because otherwise, what's the point? So, um, getting to it. This video is going to be short, but the information is solid gold. Like this product. Uh, this is a Cabot Gold. It's the ultimate finish. It's the Satin Fireside Cherry. It only comes in quartz in California because this stuff is uh, it's an oil-based product. It's a high VOC product, no doubt, and uh, you can't get it in gallons, so you have to buy it in quarts. And this stuff is, is $35 for this quart of paint. It's a uh, mineral spirits paint thinner cleanup. So here's the job. Uh, the job is uh, an old oil-based Alkid uh, mineral spirits paint thinner cleanup job. So, uh, Dave at Kelly Moore recommended that I, I try this on the painted wood. I mean, it says on the can, it's meant for untreated wood. And of course, this wood is treated. So, what I did yesterday, I came out here, a little sandpaper, you know, I just sanded, you know, scuffed it up, used some TSP, wiped it down, and that was here. And so I brushed some of this on. Look how, look how nice this is going to look. And I can tell already, this is this is going to work fine. It's with this product, it's 24 hours between coats, minimum 24 hours, and then three days before you put furniture on it. It's a two-coat system, and I can tell that uh, this is going to work. Here's the job. Before I wash, I like to take the putty knife and go in between before it's wet and kind of clear the grit out of here, right? Here are the treads. I mean, you can see what I'm up against. Uh, what anyone else would be up against. Uh, the idea of having to uh, try to paint this, it would be sanding and priming and then two coats of paint. But with this, this Cabot product, uh, if it does indeed stick to this when it's sanded quite well and washed, of course it's going to work fine here after that's washed. Uh, it's it's just going to be really incredibly easy. That's going to be well worth the cost of the product, and uh, that's why I want to share this video. So before I wash, I before it's all wet, I like to just kind of try to get the stuff out, knock it underneath, pull it out any old way to do it. This is not really part of the video, but uh, neither is this. Come on. Um, this tread is going to get replaced and then this, this post is going to be replaced as well because, well, other than that, this is holding up well, except, you know, that, that's not holding up very well, but, uh, other than that, this, this is in good shape. Look at all this stuff. I'm going to get this out of here. Orbital sander doesn't fit in this area. This is 120 grit paper. I don't think the grit 
really matters. What matters is that it get uh, it gets scuffed up. Is what matters. Wearing a mask kind of matters too. More ways than one these days. So the idea is to de-gloss this, and I hit the uh, I hit this area. I'm right trying to block the sun, but I hit this area where I did the test spot with the uh, orbital by accident. And um, this stuff is going to work, I can tell right now. Nice and scuffed up, everything should be sanded like this. This is the stuff to use, TSP substitute. I use a soft brush. Using power washer on a redwood is not necessary. You can even hurt it, so. Just wet the deck down first. Get it nice and wet. Just start, start in. As you can see, this is going to also further deglaze it, or degloss it, I mean, and this pair of mold. It's just the best stuff for preparing painted surfaces, decks. Look how much work we're doing. Look how filthy that water is. The TSP says it's a no rinse stuff, but I always give it a rinse. Look at this. I happen to have a monster fan. Not everyone has one of these, but I thought this might speed things up a bit. At this point, not much more can be done today. So while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna replace, replace this bad post and this one tread. Well, the deck is washed and it's had two days to dry. You can see that I have replaced the post and this tread and the riser. Keeping them loose so I could, I could finish these parts. I should mention that I am working from home. I got permission from the property owner I rent here. And so there's permission to do this. So I am sheltering in place during this COVID-19 time and I'm grateful to him for doing this. Actually, I'm so busy that I've been delinquent on taking care of the property uh, because there's so many calls. But now it's like, uh, now's a great time to do that. So back to the product. This is a, this is, it's not a stain. You know, Cabot makes stain, it's not a stain. It, it's a product is what it is. And um, I put it on here and I, I went over with the orbital sander sort of by accident. And this is, this is on here, it's not coming off. It's sticking here big time. It's a mineral spirits cleanup, just like this Alcid product here. And it's hard and it's a satin. I got a nice purdy brush here. Keep a putty knife on hand if you see any, any uh, loose paint, you can just get it up and just get that off. It comes in four colors, which makes it easy to choose. You put it on, you put it on, not too thick, put it on thin. You see, I, I kind of rolled the brush to get most of it off just so I can work quicker. And you do, you want to do a whole length of a board at a time. I put more attention here between the boards. Really try to get it in there. Just get a little more in between. And it's a two coat system. 24 hours later, at least 24 hours later, I come back and I hit this again. Sometimes I like to kind of do a little back and forth. Maybe I could swing this around a bit. Eh, why not, huh? It's okay to get a little more on the brush and kind of roll it on there just to get it off of the brush. Okay, work it in. So after 24 hours, at least, you come back and you do another coat and you have up to seven days 
to do the second coat. It's amazing, my phone's always ringing. Okay, so, so I got a little bucket here. Interesting part, painting. Normally you don't put oil-based paint on unprimed wood, but this product, you can do it. And you can also put it on uh, previously painted surfaces, although it doesn't say so. It doesn't say so. Doesn't recommend it. But I recommend it. You can do it. So the idea is to do a, a whole board at a time. I get too much product on the brush and then I roll it like that. I'm so happy with this. I was not looking forward to having to prime and and paint this two coats even if the primer was tinted uh let's say it was tinted red be two maybe three coats but look at this i can do this you know this is the easy part this job like i'd say 90 percent of this job is the prep there you go you see that i when i go in the bucket i kind of load my brush and then i kind of come back mind you want to put this on thin don't put it on too thick this is an oil-based product it's take a, it takes a while to dry okay the prep took forever but this this goes incredibly fast here I mean this part this is the easy part this is so enjoyable too Put some on there away from where you're at when you got a lot on the brush and then work your way back into it. Kind of use that little motion to get it under the threshold. This is nice wood. The house was built in the 20s. You can't even get wood thresholds like that anymore. You see, it says do not over apply and you got to be careful on vertical surfaces. It will run. So. You know, you don't want to put this on too thick. It's going to get another coat in 24 hours. This is worth showing. There's a little flake. Just pop it up. Brush it off. We're starting to pick up a fair amount of wear. I'm so thrilled that I can put this on wood and on paint. They say wait three or four days before putting furniture on here and dragging it around. But I'll, I'll do that and show you just how well this sticks. We'll see. This is the first riser I've encountered. Got a pretty good amount of wear right here. See how this performs. I really kind of load it up. Sometimes I'll work it in there a bit more. Sometimes if you notice a little flake of paint coming up, even if it's wet, Kind of come in there, take it off. Okay, getting over to uh, where we have the new tread, so I'm actually going to take this off and I can coat this edge and coat that edge. So I'm just going to take this off. Thought I'd might as well do this edge since I can get to it. I added these uh, four by sixes, sort of sistered them up, and in the process of bolting these to the slab and all the underlayment where I can get to it I'm going to coat that with a sealer too I'm going to go under here and coat it so that's part of this job it's not really part of the Cabot gold which is what this video is about wow gorgeous wow this would look great on a all new untreated wood it really is like a hardwood flooring outside just look at that that's Cabot gold fireside cherry on redwood it's supposed to dry really hard you guys might know I like guitars and I like nice finishes <laughs> Not so sure if the camera sees that, but wow, 
property property owner is going to be happy with this. How nice this looks. Well, it's been 24 hours. This is what what we got. Um, I like it. It's a it dries to a real hard finish. All we have to do now is just wipe it down. Just kind of wipe this down. Made it to Kelly Moore. Here, here it is again, the product, this stuff. Put a couple of ice cold beers, a couple of my favorite ice cold beers into Dave's hand because he put this into my hand, this gold. I think it goes without being said that stir thoroughly. One thing I like to do is keep a towel right there at the foot of the stairs so you can kind of knock the worst of the stuff off your feet as you go on. Well, the second coat is pretty much the same as the, uh, the first coat. Let's kind of get it on there. Not too thick. They emphasize on the can to put it on thin, two thin coats. And so that's like the Bible for you. Just read the can, huh? One thing I can say about the second coat is, is you have to be more methodical because it's hard to tell where, you, where you're going and where you've been. So you should be systematic and methodical. Whereas yesterday, it's pretty easy where, you know, where we haven't been, but it's good to keep a rag with you. So when you get to a new run of boards, just sort of wipe it all clean and get all the dust off of there. Did some carpentry this morning and finished setting this post and these this one tread and this riser here. Here's a good trick. You can take your your putty knife and wrap a rag in there. Don't let that tape sit on there for hours. Right after you're done, remove the tape and then clean the edge. You know, that's just my putty knife. What more can I say? It looks like I'm going to get this in one quart. And the deck is approximately 50 square feet, if that helps. We'll end this video and check in in three days with the uh, end result. It's actually been five days later and I'm back with the result on this. Uh, the point with these is to, uh, especially this video, is to alleviate uh, any anxiety or, or concern about, about tackling a job like this. And so uh, let's look and see how durable this is. There's one other note was um, in the morning, uh, uh, late in the morning after the second coat, there was rain, so I had to uh, put a tarp over this to protect it from the rain. So this was not the best circumstance for this. And I'm going to show the result to see if this is for you. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. So taking a look at the result of all this hopping around. Here's one shot of the cat, right? At any rate, there's also a shot of this. Here's this piece of wood. This is the one open piece of unfinished redwood. So if you got a job and this is redwood, this riser here. So if you have a job that's new, this is what this looks like. It's really nice. And this might not be for everyone, because here's what the job looks like when you put when you put it over paint, because this is all painted. And then the area where it was just open redwood, it looks like that. This is billed as a 
as a satin and it's coming out looking a little more semi-gloss I'm sure it will wear in but you can see over this look at this rag normally you know you don't want to do that it would get all the fibers would be stuck in there but they're not this one again so any wood fibers from the sanding this this stuff locks it in really locks it in nicely and so here we are up here where the chair was I was slamming that chair around it's a pretty heavy chair sliding it around and there is no indication of any marring or I mean this stuff is working for as much as it says do not use on previously finished wood it works fine might not be for everyone because you know you should if you want paint that doesn't look like paint you know over here that doesn't look like paint but in this day and age painting a deck is not really a good idea because you can't get those heavy duty paints Cabot fireside cherry so this is the look let's see the rim because you can really see that this was all paint so it's uh kind of looks like paint over paint but not right there so what more can i say this has been kent with KJS painting and renovations and uh, the Blue Jays. I hope this video was helpful. Actually, I know this has got to be helpful uh, for folks. So please like the video, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I operate out of Palo Alto. If you want some help doing some of this renovation, remodeling stuff, uh, please give me a call.